Right, so I have just arrived, I was going to say the car park, but it's not a car park, I'm just parked <laughs> at the side of the road. It's a very busy road and it's a well-known place to park for two well-known mountains, probably the highest mountain in the region actually, but we're not actually going to be heading up that mountain, we're going to be heading up the Monroe's adjacent to it and it's going to be a different route up. I don't think there's going to be many paths, <laughs> but we thought we'd try something different as opposed to the usual way up these hills, so we'll see how we go on. So I'm just waiting here uh, for, for Jerry to appear. Uh, once he's here we'll get uh, booted and suited and then we'll get cracked on up the hill and uh, hope that we have a good day. A roaming in the gloaming by the looks of things, it's a wee bit cloudy, it's not too bad actually. There's a bit of blue sky over there, so uh, fingers crossed that uh, we get some half decent views. We shall see. Right, I think I might get my boots on so I'm ready to go when Jerry arrives, because he's usually all set to go when he, uh, when he gets here. So, right, let's get the boots on. So I got the boots on and before long Jerry was appearing on the, on the road after his long, long drive of about 10 minutes to get here. Here comes Jerry. There he is. After a quick hello, we got the backpacks on and set about heading off up the glen. Alright, not too bad, is it, Jerry? Lovely. Space will be lucky. Ah, be nice. Uh, so we're going up this hill behind us. You maybe not see it on the camera, but to, the, uh, to this side of us is Ben Moore. And when I was parked up, that's where we usually park, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Benmore Farm start on yeah. the track. Yeah, so we're not going up Benmore, we're going up this other one, and I, I'll be surprised if there's a path. I, it's not It's not a really a recognised route. I mean, obviously, it's a route, but I don't think there'll be a path on the top, but no. uh, once we hit the ridge, it'll be fine. But what's what's the name of the first one? Stop, Stop Garb, the rough, the rough, rough mountain. So that, that, might, that might be quite appropriate. So we're going to go head for Stop Garb first, and then the Monroes are on beyond, beyond that. So. Uh, yeah, let's enjoy this uh, this 4x4 track Aye. while we can. Head up <laughs> stop guard, I feel a bit rough myself. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Feels like I'm breaking trail and, uh, and it's not even snow on the ground. Look at this, how long these grass is. So the Land Rover track that we're on usually takes you up to a path up to Ben Morton's Dominion and we kind of knew that as soon as we came off it and up into the direction of our hills we would be trekking across some pretty rough and pathless terrain and that's certainly what happened, there was certainly no uh, no hints of a path up here and it was lovely, it, it did mean a bit hard, you know, a bit more of a slog, harder work getting up the hill but we had this side of the hill to ourselves so we, we knew that wouldn't be the case on the summits and we, we enjoyed the solitude as we headed up the steep ground towards the call before heading on to the ridge towards Stobgarve. It also got a bit colder as we gained height, so we stopped and layered up as we entered the cloud and I even got my wee beanie on. It was freezing. Right, so we are, or we have just stopped for a bite tea, haven't we, Jerry? A bit of energy. A bit of energy. We're, uh, well, you, you've got the stats, can you remember what height we're at and stuff? I think we're about 800 and something, 800 and something metres. We've climbed 752 metres. We've gone just under five kilometres from the car. And we've been going for an hour and 55. <coughs> yeah, and it's quite, no quite path. Rough walking. Yeah, no quite path. So, yeah, we're just behind us uh, is the, the ridge that we're aiming for. I don't know if there'll be a path in that or not, but anyway, the, the, the top of the first hole, Stop Garve, 100 metres in the ascent. 100 metres still to go. Quite rough, quite rocky, maybe a wee scramble, we don't know. Yeah, and it's the, the views of the inside of Scotch Scot Mist. Scottish Scot Cloud. Scottish Mist, close so. up. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, we'll report back. It's going to be blowy up here as well. It's another reason we chose this route. It's a stiff wester westerly breeze and uh, this is in the, the lee of the wind. So we've we've been out of the wind most of the way, but that's going to change. It's about to spoil it. Yeah, uh, let's go and see. <laughs> 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 Before long we reached the, the ridge and it was yeah it was pretty windy as we headed up the, the final slopes to the first top of the day, Stob Garve, where there was a little cairn. But we didn't hang around too long and kept on going across this rocky, gnarly ridge. And I tell you what, you can see it from this footage, it was blown a hooly. That wind was getting you know, gusting the clouds right across the, the ridge and yeah, we had to uh, batten down the hatches for this part before heading towards the final slopes and the steep slopes 
of the highest point of the day, which was Crooker Drain. Right, you see Jerry behind me there, and uh, we're, we're now probably about halfway up the ascent from the Bealach to the top of uh, the Munro Crewcar Drain, which sits over over a thousand metres, but it's quite an improbable wee path, isn't it Jerry? It's pretty steep, uh, it winds through the crags. Yeah, when you're looking up you don't think the, the path could go up through these crags, but it's a faint path, it's, just, it's, it's because it's uh, not one of the routes that's recommended in the, the current guidebooks and um, Websites, so it's, it's quite nice actually. If you look down behind me and see where we've come from, down there, and this wee path winding its way up through all these these crags into the mist, it's quite atmospheric. So, yeah, I'm going to put the camera away for a while and I'll report back hopefully if we can stand up yeah. without being blown over from the summit of uh, yeah. Crook Ardrain. Oh, let's go. So, we made our way up this faint path, and I must say, it's quite an quite a steep path and it's faint in places so just be careful if you're coming up this way but yeah we we went up these steep slopes and literally popped out right at the summit cairn where we were welcomed by that gale force wind that's me at the summit now we've reached the top of the uh, crew and this is the highest point of the day 1046 meters it's a bit blowy we're in the clag unfortunately no views but uh, we're going to go into the next Munro before coming back down and kind of making a wee loop, but we'll talk about that in a wee while, but we're going to head over and try and get some uh, some shelter for the, the time being. Ooh, at the top, lovely. Yeah. Ah, and we've just come down, we're not even at the Bielach, but there's the second Monroe bench of Lake and there, and we're getting some views. You can see down towards uh, Inverloch Larigs, just over the back there, and the Corbett over there, and a wee bit of light. Um, yeah, we may get, may get lucky at the top of this one. Anyway, these, these are Jerry's local holes, and he said, all we do at the weekend, come, come at my local holes, it's always sunny. It's not going to be cloudy or anything, and the wind will be non-existent, it'll be a delightful hill walk. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> what, can, what can I say? Unbelievable. Cloud. I've got my camera out. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's just got his camera out again because the, the cloud cleared, but look what's happened. Yeah. Happens every time. Like, you'll put it away and it'll get nice again. Why do we do it? I uh, know. Right, anyway, on to Bencha Lakin. As predicted, as soon as Jerry put his camera back in his bag, the clouds cleared and the summits became clear as well. And it, it was great, really, uh, really lifted the, the spirits. So we headed along towards Ben Tulikin and up the final slopes to a very, very windy summit. The camera's on the summit cairn of Ben Chulikin and it's, uh, this is about 100 metres lower and uh, crew car drain, but I tell you what, it's a lot windier here, isn't it, Jerry? Very windy. And when, you know what? I take it all back. I'm really sorry when I doubted you when you said it was always sunny in the... I told you, the weather's guaranteed. Look at this now, that's what a change. <laughs> and if you believe that, you believe in it. <laughs> it's lovely, it's, it's lifted our moods. Fantastic. We're, so this is the furthest away point of the day. We now are, we've got a nice route. Jerry's, <laughs> Jerry's, uh, God, I can hardly hear myself because the wind's taking my voice. Jerry's mapped out a lovely route and there's a ledge which saves us having to go up and over the, uh, the other two mountains. I'll hopefully skirt around and drop us back into the glen down towards Benmore Farm. So yeah, I look good on the map, so we'll see. We'll soon find, <laughs> we'll soon find out. It'll probably be a, 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 a path, but yeah, so it's lovely because you can all directions, but it's that windy, we really need to get down because it's uh, it's blown the hooli, it's blown, blown us over, so yeah. Woo. So we were literally blown off the summit of Ben Tulikin and we were headed back down the main Monroe path before cutting off it and back onto that pathless moorland to head back. But it was lovely, we were by ourselves again and we didn't meet another soul until we were back down in the, the other glen which takes you down from Benmore. What a fantastic day in the hill, another great adventure.